Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, I'm gonna get me another background. God, I'm tired. I'm tired of looking at it myself. Yeah, I'm gonna move to another spot in the kitchen. Yeah, well, it's Tennessee North. Yeah, I'm gonna make another video. Yeah, as usual, I'm gonna say the same thing. It's going to be simple. I'm going to try to keep it just that simple. Well, today, uh, it's about me cleaning out my refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Um, open up the refrigerator. and You ever had that day where you just, you can't find anything because it's, it's so much, yeah. I'm tired of looking through, and I can't find anything. So I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. And I had made some pies back here, and I had a leftover pie shell. I said, wow, I don't want to throw it out. Let me do something with this. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something with it. So today, it's a nice day. But it's a little cool because it's windy. So I thought I'd make some a comfort food. Yeah. I'm gonna make a chicken pot pie. Yeah. Out of the pie shell. Yeah. I mean, it's spring, but, but in Tennessee, you can't tell. One day it's spring, tomorrow may be winter, the next day it may be summer. I mean, you just really can't tell. So I'm gonna use that pie shell. I'm gonna make some. Um, I'm gonna make some chicken pot pies. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make two because my youngest daughter loves chicken pot pies. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that for the bottom, and I also had some of these in there, some of the rollout dough. So hey. I'm gonna roll this across the top. It'll work. It's gonna work. Yeah. I think it will. Yep, and I had some, um, you know, see, with a pot pie, you can put what you want in it. I mean, it's no wrong answer. I mean, it's your pie. So, I'm gonna put what I want. So I found I had some colored bell peppers in there. I got red, green, and yellow. I'm gonna throw that in it. And I got some potatoes, some Yukon go. I'm gonna cut some of them up. Yeah. You ever got a pot pie and the, and the vegetables wasn't quite done? Yeah, I, that throws it off. I'm going to pipe all those. And I got some small can of, um, uh, hold on. Okay. I got some small can of carrots. That's good. I even got a small can of corn. Green beans. And some peas. It's got a little dent in the can. I need to get rid of them. Now, I don't like celery. Not to really eat. I mean, you put it in something, but not really to eat. So I found some cream of mushroom soup. I need to get rid of this, too. To me, that's going to make a pretty good pie. And I got a little piece of onion that was in there. That's going to be my chicken pot pie. Mm-hmm. Just getting rid of the stuff out of the refrigerator. Yeah. It'll be good. Sometimes the best recipes come from some leftovers, some throwaways, you know. I mean, it's not bad, but you just need to get rid of it. 
And that's what I need to do. I need to get rid of some of that stuff in my refrigerator. Yeah. You can't even find um, a can of Coke in there. It's just that much junk. Mm hmm So, that's what I'm going to do. I remember one time when um, I was young, my mother made a casserole. It's the best casserole in, oh my God. And she made a big one. My cousins and all that came by and oh my, everybody jumped on that casserole. I said, oh my God, that was the best casserole. And then they asked my mom, I mean, we all asked, mom, can you make that casserole again? And she, she couldn't remember. She said, what casserole? Mom, you remember that casserole you made? Oh man, it had cabbage and had, had some ground beef and had some cheese in it. And, and she said, I, she said, I cleaned out the refrigerator. What? Oh man, it had a topping on it of crumbs. Of... She said, oh, I just cleaned out the refrigerator. Oh my God. That was delicious. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a recipe. She just cleaned out the refrigerator. Who knew? So I don't know how this pot pie gonna be, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Cause I'm gonna clean out my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So hold on tight. I'll be back. Okay. So we're gonna cut these peppers down to a little bitty size. Now I'm not gonna put all of these peppers in there. I'm just gonna put a few. Now I know what you're saying. There's no peppers in um, pot pie. There is in Tennessee North. Mm hmm Flavor. It's all about flavor. Now, I'm not going to put a lot, but I want a few. And this is my pie pie. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut a few. And I'm going to cut them down to bite size. Some little color in it. And I'm making two of these. Just gonna make a few. I like a little color and I like a little flavor. And the pot pies you get in the store, they don't have a lot of flavor. That's why you have to do your own. You put what you want in it. You know what you want to taste. Okay. That's my orange. Cut a little red. I'm going to cut my stove on. Now, pot pie to me, it's just like cobbler. It's all about the crust. Yeah, you like the inside, but the crust, that's what makes the pot pie. It does for me. Okay. And there's my red. And if I'm going to put red, orange, and yellow in there, definitely got to put some green. And all of these are sweet peppers. They're not hot.
And there's my medley. Yeah. Now, you know I wasn't going to leave out that onion. You know I wasn't going to leave out no onion. What's Tennessee North's favorite? Just got to have a little bit. That's going to add to the flavor, too. And I always say, you don't want no bland food. Mm -mm. If it's bland, it's not worth eating. And you know my saying, omit anything you don't like. Mm -mm. This is Tennessee North recipe. I'm putting in the stuff that I like. If you don't like none of these, don't put it in. Do not put anything you don't like. If you don't like carrots, don't put them in. Corn, green beans, don't put them in. Mm-mm. Put what you like in it. If you don't want nothing but chicken, leave just the chicken. Yeah. Don't put nothing you don't like. If you don't like to eat it, I know if I don't like to eat it, I'm not going to put it in. Yeah. So, I'm going to put these onions in here. I'm going to chop them up small like this. It's going to add to my flavor. And because I like onions, I'm going to have more onions than peppers. Mm-hmm. That part there. I don't know. When you eat, I know when I eat a um, pot pie, there's always something you can say, mm -hmm. There's always something missing on it. You can eat a little more. So when you're making it your own, Whatever that little more is that's missing, you can put it in. Yeah. So hold on. Let's get to the stove. Okay. Here in my skillet, I'm going to put just a little oil. Because we got to saute our chicken down. And we got to season that chicken. Let that grease get hot. Now in this oil, We're going to put our vegetables. Now I have <clears throat> a couple of chicken breasts that I've cut up. I'm going to throw those in there. But in the meantime, I'm going to drain my vegetables. I got these little cans, these little, these little eight ounce cans. I'm going to drain them in a colander. It's the green beans. I'm 
using our two peas. We got two carrots. Would you know it? The top broke on the carrot. Well, <clears throat> so when you go to old school and you get a knife, and you pry it open. The little ring broke off. So. Just kind of bump it. Voila, it's open. Now I got three pie shells. When I thought I had one, I'm going to use all three. Let me move my vegetables around. Hold on. And to this, I'm going to add my chicken. Just get some cut up chicken breast and some tenders that I had. Now you could boil the chicken. It's not a lot of flavor in boiled chicken. I might add a little garlic powder. Garlic powder. A little onion powder. A little black pepper. A little salt.
Okay, let that cut down. Sorry. Now I got my pie shells right here. Now with this, I tell you the crust is everything. Clean hands. I'm going to run a little butter around the bottom of it. Just a little bit. In the bottom. Because I'm going to pop these in the oven for a few minutes. I don't want a soggy bottom in my pie pie. So I'm going to pop these in for just a few minutes. And like a pie, I'm going to poke it because I don't want it to puff up. bit around the edges. Okay. Let me pop these in for just a few minutes. In the oven. So I'm not going to add any more oil to this. Hold on, be right back. Okay. My chicken is about done. Now I'm going to start building on this. Now in this bowl here, I got just a little flour. And I'm going to add I'm not measuring anything a little chicken bouillon in that flour just a little for flavor Okay, I'm gonna add, stir that in. Then I'm gonna take a little milk. Just kind of get that together. Make a little roux, if you wanna call it. To it. 
Then I'm going to open my cream of mushroom soup. And my cream of celery. I'm going to combine these. And this is going to make my base. The reason why I add the flour is because I wanted to kind of add a thickener. Just a little bit. Clean spoon. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring you over to the stove. Now I'm going to add this thickener over to my chicken. About to take my pies shelf out. Now to that, I'm gonna add just a little milk. Then it out just a little. And I'm making three. And I got my vegetables that I've drained. Clean spoon. Let's taste it. Yeah. I like a little more black pepper in mine. And my potatoes that I pot boiled earlier. I told you nobody likes a hard potato in a, <clears throat> in a pot pie. And when you boil your potatoes, put a little salt in it to season your potatoes. Just a little more milk. Clean spoon. I'm the dishwasher. Washer. I can get as many spoons as I want. 
Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bring that to a little... Let me get my pie shells out. And we're going to assemble this. Okay, let these get these um, Popeyes filled. So we can get them in the oven. Okay, let's get a pop on them right quick and get them in the oven. Just like a cobbler, you want that crunch step right there. Like I said, it's the it's the it's the crust for me.
Okay. Then we gotta put an egg wash on it. Just crack your egg. Brush your top up. This right here make it shiny on top. You ever see those pies and stuff that have that shine on it? That's all it is. It's a little egg wash. Give it that nice little glow. Okay. I'm gonna cut a little air holes in the top. And need little air holes in it. Just poke a couple of holes in the top. So it have air holes in it. Then take your little salt and sprinkle across the top of it. Just a little. Okay, there you have it. Yeah. Put these in the oven. We'll be back. Okay. The pot pies are out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going to put a little banana pudding together. Just for a little dessert. Hold on. Okay. Let me put my bananas in. And I'm not going to make a very big one. I'm going to start with my bananas first. Don't put them in no certain way. And I'm not going to fill this all the way up because I'm not going to make a very big one. I probably only do about a half of this. You just want to slice your bananas. Cover your bottom a little bit. Like I said, this is going to be a small one. I'm going to use one box of banana. I mean, one box of cookies. 
I don't know how many bananas I'll use. Just so I can make a, probably two layers. That's it. And I'm gonna make a certain. Because my boys don't eat the name of the And me, once it's cold, I don't like it. I like it warm when it's first made. Or room temperature. Once it's cold, I don't know. It's something about the coldness I don't like. I don't know. I like the warmthness of it. I've heard of people putting whipped topping on it. Mm -mm -mm, I can't deal with that. I guess they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I guess I'm just one of those old dogs. Been liking it warm all my life. I think I tried it one time cold and it just did not set with me. So if I don't eat mine the first day, I don't fool with it after that. I didn't want to do the two layers, but hmm, I still may only do two layers. I'm gonna put the rest of this banana in. I'm only gonna do two layers. I don't want to make a big one. Now you can fill it all up and go all the way if you want. But I always like for my cookies to be my top layer. Okay. Like so. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let's get to the custard. Okay. Let's make our custard here. I got a cup of sugar. a fourth of a cup of um, flour. This is a half a cup. I'm only using half of that. About a fourth of a cup. Because I'm only making a little custard. Because I don't have a lot of um, uh, banana pudding. I'm just making a small one. Okay. I'm going to mix this in here. Got a half a stick of butter. One can of evaporated milk.
four eggs. Now I usually get my custard together before I go to the stove. I'm gonna lay my eggs off in here. Now I put one cup of sugar in there, and I'm gonna put one can of sweet condensed. That's gonna make it sweet enough. And I'm gonna cut this in half with some whole milk. So it's gonna cut down on the sweetness, the whole milk. Two teaspoons of vanilla. About a half a cup of milk. Give or take. I don't measure. Depending on how thick it gets, I might end up adding a little more milk. Okay, let's go to the stove. You gotta stir and make sure it don't stick. I'm gonna come back with a wooden spoon. And I know somebody going to say, why are you going with with, uh, with this wire wick? Um, yeah, because I want to use a wire wick. I want to be able to fill the bottom. It's a non-stick pan. 
But if you don't watch it, a non-stick pan will stick too. Yeah. Just because they said they won't stick, they will. If you don't watch it. But I have my wooden spoon on hand. I'm going to add just a little more whole milk. Just a tad bit. This is Old Faithful. This is why I wick. It ain't gonna hurt it. And I pour my custard over my bananas and cookies warm. Yeah. Some people say let theirs cook. I don't like it to cool. I pour mine over warm. Now you can let yours cool if you like. Just teach your own. It cooks the bananas. Yeah. You always got to stir a little bit in the middle because that's the first place that it, excuse me, that's the first place that it starts sticking, is in the middle. I don't know why, but it does. You got a constant stir. Now I'm going to start stirring with my wooden spoon, but I might have to go back to the wire wick if it starts sticking before my custard starts getting thick like I want it. No, nothing beat homemade banana pudding. Now that Jello, oh, Tennessee North can't handle that Jello pudding. Oh, that artificial flavor. Oh, 
I can't take it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You gotta make that custard. That artificial, you can tell it's, oh my God. But teach his own, if you like it. Ain't nothing wrong with it if you like it. But this is what old Tennessee North grew up eating. It's starting to get thick, so I'm going to go back to my wire wick. starting to thicken up but you want the right kind of thickness I don't want it too thick where it don't pour Okay, I'm about to take it over here in just a minute to pour, so I'll be back. Now I got me a little skewer. Do like this so the custard would fall down in the middle. You want it to get all the way down in there. So I just kind of wiggle this around. That way my custard will fall. Get all the way to the bottom. And you can see on the sides here. See? It's drizzled down to the bottom. That way you don't have no dry pockets. There we have banana pudding. Hold on. Okay. Pie pie. Yeah. Hold up.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we're talking about here. Let me speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. So. Crust nice and brown and Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Crust is flaky. See how flaky that is? Get right there. Mm. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. When I tell you flavor, mm -mm -mm. tell the makers of Maria Calendar to call me. Peas, carrots. Potatoes, crust. It's the crust for me. Mm -hmm. Buttery crust. Put that. Put that butter on that bottom crust for you. Run in the oven. <sighs> Make a difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, when I say have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And the chicken. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, Tennessee North. I dated self. Mm hmm. Cross crunchy on top. <clears throat> Vegetables are done on the inside. <laughs> Potatoes are soft. Carrots are soft. <clears throat> Do you see that? <clears throat> they quit playing. See that chicken? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is my last bite. I gotta try this banana pudding for you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm drinking water today. Even that water. Mm. See what this banana pudding tastes like. And it's the cookies and cream for me with this. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Tennessee, you know. Yeah, girl. Mm, my lord. Where my manners? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. Mm-hmm. Nice and warm. Like, I like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm. Have another bite. It don't make no sense to be this good. Mm -mm -mm. Shut both your eyes. Woo. If this video don't show, oh, y'all gonna miss out on the treat. Mm. Mm. My ancestors from that mothership that came across the water. Oh. They be proud of me. Mm -hmm. They be proud of me. I can feel my mom and my grandma and them pet me. Oh, they pat me on my shoulder. Said, job well done. But do say so myself. <clears throat> you go try it. Now Tennessee North won't stare you wrong. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. These recipes. Close both of your eyes. I mean both of your eyes. Mm -hmm. You might even want to slap somebody. Mm. Don't slap your mom. Mm -mm. That, if your mom anything like math, I wouldn't advise it. Mm -mm. My mom could hear you, what you was thinking. She said, what you said? I, I didn't say anything. Yeah, I heard. I didn't say anything. See, they had that, that hearing. Mm -hmm. You could be walking away. What'd you say, ma'am? Mm-hmm. So we had said, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. These kids today? Huh? No. What? Call respect. Mm -mm. Even up to the day my mother passed, it was yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. My father? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Respect. These recipes, yeah, handed down from people I respect. Yeah, I tweaked them. Yeah, maybe she was chef or fall in my footsteps and she'll tweak them. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm feeling a little sleepy. I am gonna finish my food. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, subscribe. Tell somebody about old Tennessee North. Tell them about this pot pie and take care of that pot pie. Woo! That pot pie. Yeah. You know, back in the old days, they left off the buh. It was just nana pudding. You making that nana pudding? Mm hmm That's some nana pudding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See you on the next video. This video is about them pie pies. Bye now.